What it do, what it do, my fellow Eagles fans. What it do, what it do, baby. It's your boy Roy back again with some, you know, ladies and breaking Eagles news as it comes to you. But yeah, the Eagles have just signed wide receiver John Ross to a one-year contract. Bowls well for him, bowls well for the Eagles, but we will talk about that and some other news regarding the Eagles today. So let's just hop right into it. So, John Ross was signed to a deal. Not much guaranteed money in it, so I'm not really too worried about it. I'm being completely honest. Realistically speaking, this just goes to show Devontae Parker, Devontae Schmarker. It didn't, it didn't matter whether he was, he was going to really compete for the team or not. Obviously, a day after he decided to retire, the Eagles signed somebody to replace him. Just being honest, it obviously wasn't that big of a deal. I'm not trying to be rude to Devontae Parker because he has more talent than I will ever have. But, you know, it just is what it is. He wasn't obviously going to make the team. Like, eh, it is what it is. But, um, yeah, this bowls well for the Eagles in regards to he's a very fast receiver. The fastest receiver, well, shit, the second fastest receiver to ever run a 40 time ever. So with that being said, um, it's looking good. I mean, you've seen the clips. John Ross, at a time, you know, when he gets the ball in his hands, he can make some plays. I'm not going to say he's had the career that we all expected John Ross to have. He hasn't. He's an unproven talent. But this just goes to show that we have some speed on the team. And we have successfully replaced Quez Watkins in the sense of having Paris Campbell and John Ross on the team at the same time. So now it's just really a question. Who's going to get more of the reps? Who's going to be our third wide receiver? Who do you guys think it is going to be? John Ross or Paris Campbell? My money's on Paris Campbell, personally. He's taller and just a better receiver, in my opinion. Better hands. But you never know. John Ross might just come out and shock the world. What if he's just been working on the jug machine? He's just been working on the jug machine. Maybe he's been catching bricks like Jerry Rice used to do. I don't know. He might really be the truth. And maybe it was just Andy Dalton just not playing well. You know, I mean, think about the quarterbacks he had. Andy Dalton and he played with Daniel Jones. Now we got Jalen Hurts. That's a major upgrade, bro. You never know. Jalen Hurts is one of the prettiest deep balls in the game, boy. Might be a breakout season for John Ross. We never know. Or Paris Campbell. My, but my money's on Paris Campbell. Who you guys got? All right. That's, you know, that's most of the video. But let's just talk about one more thing. So it seems that the smoke isn't matching the fire. So if you haven't seen, Javon Holland recently came out with dissing the hell. The hell. Out of our new coach, Vic Fangio, saying most of the defensive players didn't like it. And, well, Jalen Carter has come out and said some contrary information. Jalen Carter and Darius Slay have said some contrary inf information. Jalen Carter is saying, you know, he was training in Miami with a couple of guys and he heard good things about Vic Fangio. He likes the old school mentality. So is my bowl well for the Eagles? Having an old school coach to, you know, get these young boys up to par. Because that's what we need. We need players to get it up to par. I don't know if you guys remember, but Javon Hargrave last year was saying there is a huge difference between the way the Eagles practice and the way the 49ers practice. The 49ers practice is way harder, way more strenuous. And I think that's part of the reason why they their defense was so much better than ours last year. Because we had a lot of young players not knowing what to do. And I think with Vic Fangio on the team now, at least we have an opportunity. I don't really like this game, but at least we have an opportunity to run it the best. Because who's not who who who's gonna run the Vic Fangio scheme better than Vic Fangio himself? And with that being said, maybe he can run a little harder, get these, you know, with his old school mentality, get these young boys ready to really play. Because that's what we need. We need Jordan Davis. We need uh Jalen Carter to really come out here and play. And my favorite, Milton Williams, come out here and get that chip, get that bag. You know what I'm saying? But yep, 
That's all I really got for y'all. That's all I really have in the Eagles news department right now. Hope y'all are doing well. There's another receiver in the fold that I think the Eagles may go out there and get, but we'll talk about that later. Peace out.